Thanks for your interest in Canard's compost system. Let's go check it out. With all the composting that we do here at Canard, it's important to let the, our community here know how well we're doing and how much we've diverted. So to spread awareness around our community, we decided to create a goal poster, which this tracks our progress um, throughout the year. It started in November, and we're about to add the finishing touches for this year at 15,000 pounds. Welcome to our lunch here at Canard. Can you know us anything unique? Here at Canard, we don't have any trash cans in our lunch room. All our trash cans are over there in the compost area. Here at Kennard, we always challenge our students to ask themselves, when you throw something away, where is away? Our goal here is to have the least amount of trash possible, and we have recycling, composting, which is vermicompost and heat compost, and then last, we have waste. For our recycle, we have a single stream recycling, which means you can put paper, plastic, and aluminum on our signs. We have all the things that you can put in here. And then here we have waste, which we hope we don't have very much of, but if we do, these are the type of things that go in there. And this is our heat compost, which can take milk cartons and cardboard and eggs and milk and just meat. And then our compost with worms, we only want vegetables and fruits that are fresh. So yeah, that's the way we compost at Canard. Here at Canard, we compost to divert our waste, and we've learned that what comes from the ground can go back into the ground again. Here with the heat compost, we can put anything that was once alive, like meat because it was once alive, cardboard was once alive, anything up here was once alive, or it was in the ground at one point in time, like your french fries were once potatoes. Um, the company that provides these compost bins are GSI, and they take it to a site, it's A1 Organics, and they have a large composting area over there, and all of the food, it's taken over once a week and it's turned into fresh compost. When it comes to the compost that we do with our worms, we only like to use fruits and vegetables because worms don't like the animal products like milk, cheese, and oils. We like to save that for our heat compost. But when we do have fruits and vegetables, we like to feed our worms because that's what they like. So let's go check out our worms. So the art of composting. How do you compost? Well, first you have to save all the food from the ground. All of the vegetables, grain, and all that. And then you have to chop it up with like a shovel or something, break it down into a nice little worm smoothie so it's easier for the worms to break it down. Then you have to feed the worms, which is just putting it in and mixing some of it up with the worms, but not too much so you don't kill the worms. Then you have to mix carbon and nitrogen. Nitrogen is the food, and carbon will be paper, cardboard, and this way it keeps it balanced so it doesn't stink too bad. And then you have to wait for a while to let the worms just eat and relax and you know get it all through their system. Then you harvest it, and voila, you've got compost. Here's Natasha with some more about compost. This is the Verma compost here at Canard. On this side we have the red wigglers and the carbon and the nitrogen. The carbon is all of this paper stuff and the nitrogen is just underneath. If I dig a little down we'll be able to see some working in action. This is them composting all the food which will then turn into the finished product. And Kylie has the after Mm. Here's our after product. Mmm, it smells really good. It's not what you expect. Usually you'd think it would smell like those rotting apples that the worms eat, but it's just plain old dirt. dirt. <laughs> Why is all our composting important? Well, our goal is to make a sustainable cycle. So all the food that we eat that comes straight from the ground, that was once grown from the ground, like vegetables and fruit, we can keep and compost it. We chop it up and feed it to the worms. And the worms love that and they eat it. And there we go. We turn into nice, dark, nutrient-filled um, <laughs> compost that we can use that's really healthy and really good for the plants. And what happens is the plants grow and then we eat the plants again and there's a sustainable cycle. Our main goal in composting is to keep all of this great nutrients out of the landfills. So we want to starve the landfill but feed the worms. Every year Cunard Cares takes a service learning trip to Catalina Island, California. While there, we learn very powerful stuff in an amazing outdoor classroom. 
We want this area to eventually turn into an outdoor class classroom, just like the one in Catalina. We're hoping to get a garden in here someday so we can complete our sustainable cycle. I hope you had fun on your interactive tour of Kennard. Where do you want to go now?